All right. So I'm Christy here from Concert Crab, and I am with the Buck Leagues. Yay. So, yeah, so tell us about yourself. Well, we are three siblings mm -hmm. from Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually just played our first show here in LA the other night, and uh, yeah, having a ball. We just released our new EP, Take It As It Comes. So, over here, uh, yeah. Touring around the US. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, tell me about your upbringing. So, you guys are a siblings trio. Um, how did that start? Man. We uh, grew up in a really musical household. Our dad's a music, played, um, you know, it was a rock and roll genre throughout the 80s, 90s, and yes. um, yeah, so we kind of grew up with instruments in every corner of the room, and it was a very natural progression for us all to just start playing together. Couldn't, couldn't escape it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we just fell in love with it from, you know, since we, since we could walk. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much how oh. we got started. <laughs> okay, okay, so what was like the moment that you guys, um, let's see, um, and I like, um, what was the moment like, hey, let's start a band? Yeah. Well, we were, like Molly said, we always played, but yeah. we were, we went to a festival in Australia called the Tamworth Country Music Festival, and uh, we were busking on the street, and uh, we ended up not knowing that when you busk at that festival that year, um, it automatically entered you into the busking competition um, against, you know, like, I don't know, a thousand or something buskers. <laughs> and so we ended up coming top 10 in the busking competition. Oh, wow. Okay. And we were invited to play on the main stage of Tenwa. This was like 10 years ago. Yeah, it was so good. Oh, so you've been on the game for a while. Yeah, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, we were like, I would have been 12, and these guys a bit younger. Wow. Yeah, and then we, uh, Playing yeah. on this massive stage, <laughs> so out of our element. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. at that point was like he refused to wear shoes. We yeah, never yeah. wear a college shirt. Little hippie, wow. little hippie yeah. kids, um, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. little hippie kids. You know, <laughs> and we were on this massive stage and like the smoke machine. Lachlan was like, Lachlan hated the smoke machines. He was yeah. like, oh my God, like this before the show, I'm like, I don't even want to play. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. But um, oh, well, then after it. it, you know, we just fell in love with it, and that's where I think that was the moment we really caught the bug. Of, yeah. You know, Playing live shows and together. Okay. And, yeah. Know, we're into this. <laughs> okay, so, so y'all like, like started at like around the same time or at the same time, I should say. Like there wasn't like one of you that started like singing first or started Probably a Sarah. band. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah, yeah. Molly. <laughs> Sarah Molly always sang. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We used to Sarah and I used to play with Dad um, when we were really young. We used to yeah. jump up on stage with Dad mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we kind of yeah, just all. So uh, your father, um, he's the one that inspired you, or was there any like other artists or groups that inspired you to become um, yeah. yeah, an artist? I mean, definitely, because Dad was, is a musician. We were just around it all the time, around music. Uh, but a lot, of, a lot of his friends are musicians and songwriters and artists. So like, I could talk to teacher when we were little. Um, this guy called James T, who played in a band called Can Heat from over here in America. And he taught us the blues and guitar. And uh, so, you know, things like that we yeah. just kind of you know just see music all the time and so we um, kind of started off with like early influences like 50s ray charles yeah okay. Pat, and like 60s like patsy klein and sort of kept progressing even though i still love modern music that was out then that was like our musical journeys yeah. as you know as musicians started really early mm -hmm. and just progressed 70s 80s 90s mm, nice. so many different influences because yeah, yeah mom and dad had so many records that they would always play and yeah, just were kind of introduced to so many different styles and yeah. generations of music. Um, yeah. yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were just talking about the Los Angeles show. So I was actually at that show. Um, oh, what are you there? Yeah. Oh, uh, awesome. I was very, I'm very oh, tiny. I'm a tiny person. I was in the background doing this. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I have to say, you do remind me of, like, Anne and Nancy Wilson Hart. That's oh, what cool. I, like, at first, like, the first note you hit, I was like, Wow, and then you came out with a double neck guitar. <laughs> I was like, I, my mind was blown. Oh was my like, god! Oh, you're, yeah, your performance was powerhouse. So oh, that's me, so sweet. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. yeah of course. So um, tell me about your experience about that show. Like, how was it? Yeah. In front of Capitol Records and <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. massive. <laughs> we were, I was pretty nervous. Like, it's a it's a first show in LA. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, and we just wanted to put our best yeah. performance on and put our best foot forward. Just did and our thing. Yeah, exactly. So we just kind of, yeah, just, yeah, did our thing and had fun and luckily everything, you know, went well and oh, we yeah. had a great time. It was like a really just, you know, some shows, you know, it's always, you know, it's un, like kind of 
nerve-wracking environments. It's, you never know how things are going to go, but the crowd was amazing. Yeah, was we had fun. such a great time, genuinely. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a great just a lot of fun. It was really yeah. calming, too, but it was, totally. uh, it was a pack house, for sure. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Um, I was going to ask, um, besides that, is there any other artists or um, maybe a dream tour you'd like to do someday? Who would you like to tour with? Gosh, Man. anyone. Keith Urban, I'd love to tour with Keith. Yeah. Another yeah. Aussie. Uh, I'd love to tour with Midland. Midland. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so much fun. It'd be, yeah. you know what, I think it'd be like the Rolling Stones. Like, yeah. if you oh, imagine yeah. opening for them, yeah. like, that would yeah. be ultimate. They'd like, be around forever, so you would definitely get there. Yeah, that yeah. would be, oh, yeah, totally. I mean, Keith Richards is going to outlive us all, so. Yeah, yeah. 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 Keith Richards is the only one we'll be opening for. <laughs> 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 shows, oh. oh, I can't wait to see your Rolling Stones. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, so many um, yeah, so tell us about your big plans where you're here in the States. Well, we are here just, it's the first time we've ever been over here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of doing promo, meeting people, like doing things like this. It's really exciting. We've always been, um, yeah, coming to Nashville, writing in the past, and it's cool and to have a, yeah, and recording. It's cool to have a record out. And yeah. it's a whole different experience, really. We've been to New York, LA, Nashville. And, um, and yeah, cool promoting have, our new EP. Yeah, have signing out that represents us right now because when yeah. we released our album, we couldn't go anywhere. It was released during the pandemic, so we couldn't mm. actually yeah. go anywhere um, for like two years. Yeah. Mm. And um, <clears throat> so then when we were going out and doing all that, we kind of um, were musically like slightly grown out of it or whatever. And okay. so now we released the EP, and you know, that was it's a new project and it's you know yeah, us totally. right now so it's really exciting to have yeah that. and we're also kind of working on the next thing at the same mm. time as well it's doing some yeah. writing over here yeah. and uh yeah it's, it's really exciting yeah do you tour well during the pandemic or um like, like while when you could yeah. so yeah. it was funny we did like one show in far north queensland the day that like in Australia, the border between New South Wales and Queensland was closed, and like okay. the day that it opened up, it was like one a.m. in the mid. Uh, it was like midnight um, on a certain day that it opened up. And we had a festival in Far North Queensland, which was like a whole plane ride away. Like you know, if you're driving, it takes a few days. It's four hour plane ride. Wow. Um, and like so, yeah. we went, drove to the border, waited at the border for like at midnight <laughs> till one a.m. Yeah. The border opened, then we which went also, to Brisbane and caught a plane. It was like crazy. Yeah. Um, someone has. <laughs> Team pranked um pranked us. pranked us and got the police to oh like the gosh. head of the police to come up to our car and yeah. say we couldn't get through because like they were allowed to deny people entry if they wanted to yes, yeah. and so they're like oh sorry you guys can't actually we're like we have a gig everything is riding <laughs> everything is riding us get yeah, getting like, past the water yeah. 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 Like, yeah. and then they're yeah. like no just kidding we're like can you do yeah. that no, <laughs> we're still we're so still funny. planning on what we're going to do back to them yeah like, we, we're really yeah I feel like it's not to back to yeah be on tour with us is probably the probably <laughs> well, I can't that. wait to hear about that. <laughs> 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 All right. So, I, last but not least, um, tell us how we, where can we follow you. Um, how can we keep updated with your music? Well, I mean, Instagram, Instagram Facebook, which are going to get TikTok happening. So. TikTok oh, happening. Right. Yeah. 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 Nice yeah. shoes, not nice. uh -huh. like walking downstairs. It was the most pointless thing I've ever done in my life. Um, <laughs> you got a million views. So I did it in the wrong career path. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But no, like Instagram, Facebook. Okay. All, all right. That sounds great. All right. And that'll be it. Yeah. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.